This is me when my mom gets home and starts telling me to wash the dishes. I can't hear anything. <laughs> book on my phone. It's called Show Your Work. It's a pretty short read. I think this is really helpful if you're a creative and you're one of those people who struggle to share what you're working on until it's perfect. So one of the things that I learned from this book, I just started reading it by the way, I learned that it's nice to take your audience throughout the process of building something because that's when you can actually form like a bond with them. It doesn't always have to be perfect. Some projects fail but some projects also work. Either way, you're trying to tell a story. Maybe someone from your audience will be able to resonate with it and you'll form a closer bond together. is quite full for the day so I figured I needed to start this day on the right foot just to give me a boost of motivation and energy so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of journaling so here's my prompt if you guys wanna do it with me first is affirmations this is gonna feel weird at first but then it's really effective once you do it a lot like regularly so whenever you say good things about yourself you feel good inside and it gives you a boost of confidence with me so I keep all my essentials here like my notebooks my pens I used to keep it here on this desk but then I figured it was hard for me to transport things from one room to another shall we do a quick what's in my work bag tour I got this one from Muji this is the best notebook this is also the best pen ever aside from G Tech from pilot this one's the wirebound notebook the dotted version. I have a book. This is called How to Japan. This is my sister's book and I really wanted to read it because it seemed interesting. This is one of the best hand creams I've tried in my life because I have really rough hands. No matter what I do, it's super rough. I don't know why but whenever I use this hand cream, it actually gets absorbed by my skin and it leaves my hands feeling moisturized. Other hand creams just stay on top of my skin and it feels really sticky but this one gets absorbed really quick. I have my laptop stand pouch for my hard drive. Whenever I edit on my laptop, my laptop's like memory space gets full right away so I usually edit with my hard drive. This has all my chargers and stuff, tripod and my earphones. I gave in and I got the AirPods Max because I've been watching reviews about it and apparently it's really good especially when you're studying in a cafe and you don't want outside noise but then you just want to be somewhere different. Apparently the noise cancelling on that headphones is really good so I got one and I'm not sure when it's arriving. I figured I needed new headphones to keep me motivated. <laughs> I've been loving putting on makeup lately. This started when I was in Europe because we didn't wear masks there, so I was able to put on makeup every day. I love the whole routine of prepping my face, applying products. It's almost 2 o'clock. I've been working on my laptop, organizing my files and my to-do list for the week. So I still have a lot of things to do. I need to film my video later. I'm filming my room tour and I need to go out and buy some flowers for that. 
And I also need to pass by the grocery because I want to make onigiri, like tuna onigiri, but then I don't have um, mayonnaise and seaweed. And then I have to work out because it's been a while. I need to get back on track. I'm back home. I changed into this beautiful pink dress. I filmed my room makeover. I'm so happy to finally finish it. I can finally eat, make my onigiri. Ah, I'm so excited. For me, I got a lot of things done and I feel like my motivation meter is getting higher and yeah. I just want to remind you guys that every day isn't like this for me. There are also days wherein I'm feeling unmotivated, where I don't feel like doing anything. Last Monday, I binge watched Partner Track on Netflix. Like I didn't do anything the whole day except watch that series. and. Yeah, there are also days wherein I give myself time to rest and to watch my favorite series. Time to not do anything and that's okay. It's okay to not feel motivated all the time. You need to give yourself a break. But then after that, even if your motivation is low, you still gotta do the work. You still have to put in the hours to achieve your goal. I think that's the main difference between motivation and discipline. Your motivation levels can deplete while your discipline will always push you to achieve your goal. It's like how bad you actually want it. There are times when I don't feel like doing anything, I don't feel like editing, even if I love to edit. But yeah, I have those days where I just don't want to do it. I can't be bothered to do anything. Sometimes I let myself be, but most times I have to tell myself that, you know, I you have to show up for yourself and also for you guys. Because I know some of you wait for my videos every week and of course, I don't want to disappoint you guys. <laughs> Productivity isn't everything. Getting things done isn't everything. You still need a balance of doing something fun, resting, and also producing stuff. This arrived last night and I couldn't help but open it already. This is me when my mom gets home and starts telling me to wash the dishes. I can't hear anything. <laughs> 